Good morning slash afternoon slash evening everybody, I am Southpaw Racer, welcome to another installment of Sim Racing for Breakfast. And we're at Interlagos this week, with a very disappointing turnout. There's not too many people here this week, and um, just about half the field is HPDs, so uh, this is going to be uh, quite a traffic light race, I guess. On the bright side, we've got a couple of Fords, so there's some uh, so there's better representation in that class than there has been recently, I suppose. It's qualifying. Let's do a hot lap. Across that curve we go. Through here we go. Gain a bit of time there, two tenths. Here we go. Oh, okay. Keep gaining that time, please. Keep it nice and tight. So my final lap time is going to be 123.284. Alright, so that's qualifying done, and that has put me in pole position for this race. By a pretty good margin. And it's a 75 minute race, but either. Oh my god, it is a 75 minute race. Oh fuck. Fuck, I need to work my fuel numbers. Shit. Oh. Oh man, okay, so <laughs> I I had to yeah. use the gridding time to, to work out my fuel numbers. Breaks there. I'm gonna go on the green, I think. Alright. Clear him off through the first turn, and away we go. Okay, this car's hooked up. I like this. The setup I'm using is one that uh, Dino Topic sent me, um, and some other HPD drivers in the practice session before this race. A couple of his changes. I'm not quite sure exactly what he did, but we also made a couple of changes to the diff design from the virtual racing school set to improve turn in. I think what what's been come up with is a lovely driving set, especially in this weather. This is beautiful. Of course, my lap time's probably pale in comparison to the best HPD drivers in the world. But I'm happy with what I got. Oopsie. Oopsie, oopsie. Right. That's something I could have gone without. If 
I remember correctly, Interlagos is traditionally a uh, low participation track in iRacing when it comes around, which I think is a real shame, you know? Because it is one of the most fun circuits that I've ever driven on. Like, every single lap here is an adventure. I love it here. Really? Really? That's an off track. See, this this is my this is my least favorite part about Interlagos. That wasn't a that was an off track. But that isn't. Like look 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 at how much of the curb I'm using. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not saying make those curbs off tracks because obviously, you know, I I like using curbs. They're nice, but like with these green astroturf parts, surely we're allowed to use them. Real life drivers are allowed to use them. Why aren't we? Same sort of thing with Spa, like. There's, there's things that, that you can do at Spa in real life that the officials will allow that iRacing decides is just, you know, completely off limits. So some of the lines you can take in real life just aren't feasible in iRacing if you're looking out for your safety rating, or if you want a lap to count in qualifying. I mean, far be it from me to suggest that, you know... I know that, that iRacing has its own sporting code and that and that governs things, but I don't know, it just it just bugs me. A lot. See I even did the wheel on the grass there. <laughs> that should have been an off track. <laughs> if we're going to apply that same standard. Alright. Hit stop time. You guys see that pit entry after the race is done. It's freaking crazy. Almost killed myself. Alright, let's go. Oops. Turn your pit limiter off, race. Alrighty. Well, we're out of the pits. Okay. So, I'm making mistakes. Sean Valandia is... getting within four, maybe three seconds of me. Wonder if this is going to heat up towards the end. Time's left. Twenty minutes. At this pace, I'd say that's about ten laps. Not ten, maybe fifteen. Oh shit. That's gonna make him catch right up to me. Not too hungry with the curbs. Now he's within three seconds. Full stop. I don't know what he's doing. Oh man, I just keep making mistakes.
don't know why, I'm, I'm just not getting as much drive off the turns as I used to. This is concerning. I won't, Dino, I won't. Hashtag, do it for Dino. Alright, these lapped HPDs. Better get by quick sharp. Come on, come on. Oh, wow. I know they were battling. I know they were battling. Just, it's... A little frustrating. <laughs> when I'm involved in a battle myself. Well, looks like Sean's... Got them for company. So, I might be able to gain a bit of a buffer. I don't know. I hope. I really fucking hope. Alright. I've been watching my F3 for that whole lap. Rip the dream. He got his, um... He got past those lapped cars. Oh, come on. Steer, you bastard. Oh, man. How did he get so quick in this last stage of the race? How much time? How much time? Oh, fuck. I don't even care about off tracks anymore. 12 minutes. Oh. He is always getting me on corner exit. If I run out of rears, I have no idea. He's always catching me by a couple of tents. Really fucking hope that I have enough fuel as well. Stop making mistakes. Thank you. Yep. laps of fuel left.
I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I need to stop. Fuck, man. Two laps. I'm not sure if she'll have the fire for the corner, but, yeah. Ah, uh, missed the apex anyway. It's just easier. Fucking, if I can cross the line... Look. ...with 1 minute 22 to go... Yeah, sometimes too ...might be able to make it home. I can feel it spot. It's like, what the hell? Might be able to make it home. Might be able to make it home. Oh no! No! Are we going to get white flag? Please let us get white flag. Yes. Okay. All right. I can make it home. I can make it home. All I got to do. Come on, Reese, you got this. Just hold Sean off. <sighs> All I can do... I just need to hold him off. Okay. I probably did enough there. I probably did enough. Back him up through the turns. Okay. <sighs> All right. Wow, even when I went and pit for fuel, I still ran out. Wow. Let's find a safe place I can tow real quick. Uh, I can do this. On a high end line, I'm gonna tow in right now. Alright. Alright, you're clear. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Keep it nice and clean. Okay. I think I've done it. Under a, under a kilo left. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Nearly fucked it. But I did it. Oh man. Yeah, you didn't do shit, nice, mate. Nice win, Ray. Nice win. Oh, man. Yeah, cheers, guys. I almost ran out of fuel there. I think I crossed the line with point six. <laughs> well, at least you did better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, some, that was some fun battles all around. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to take a screenshot of that one where... I, I'm sorry, Ray's. I did not mean to scare you like that, especially when I was battling the uh, battling the seven. Oh my gosh, that was a interesting little lap there. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> yeah, Sean. Um, you seemed to gain quite a bit of time during the second stint. What happened? 
Um, I don't know, really. Um, I think I stopped trying to push so hard, and all of a sudden I picked up like half a sec. Oh, all right. Oh, well, that was one of the more stressful Proto GT races I've done. Um, winning by less than three tenths from Mr. Valandia, and as you just saw, according to Dino, uh, the set went to shit after the pit stop, and yeah, I'd, I'd probably agree with him there, because, yeah, after the pit stop, it just, it, I wasn't able to push as hard, I just lost drive out of the corners, so, oh well, it happens, and I still came home with the win, and I'm happy with that, so, I hope you enjoyed that, make sure to do all of the youtube -y stuff, I don't really give a shit, <laughs> I'm Southpaw Racer, I'm a sim racer, I make videos about that and other stuff, I will see you at the first corner, goodbye.